now we have the to do store so for any store to work we need the actions right so let's first create our actions file so inside our resources assets js um, inside js we will have components to do and then to do actions dot js okay any action will export a constant first let's name it get to do's this is a function where we get the store parameter okay and let's space will be for okay in this we automatically get the http so what we will do is uh, let's just see uh, the to do items is here but our created is here right so we need we will pull this in we'll, i'll just copy it paste it here okay and what do we get we have if you know, uh, this http slash to do's then we get the response fine so um, i don't need to do this to do's equals this because you know the action is not going to change anything it's just going to where dispatch yes patc and dispatch equals store dot dispatch okay so it's a variable and then in a function we will pass get underscore to do's okay this is going to be the exact thing what we have mentioned here okay so i can just copy it paste it here it's like the you know the emit and broadcasts key and then the data right so something like that and in this i will do response.data why i'm going to do response.data because in this action i'm saying state.to do's is equals to do's which means i'm going to send out all the to do's from here okay now this is done you know uh, we understand that uh, we are getting the to do's here we are uh, dispatching a mutation uh, to the store but how is the to do item going to know okay so right now it's in main.js obviously uh, that doesn't make sense anymore we can get rid of the created okay we don't need that anymore and um, in our to do items we don't need the properties as well but what we need to do is we create a vuex object okay um my method is ending here so vuex okay this is going to be our vuex object we will have two things we will have getters okay and we have actions okay uh, action is something which we have created here so we'll need to import that action how do we do that i'll say import get to do's uh, let me just copy that okay this is in this uh, from and now we are inside that component so we can do to do actions okay so we have the actions uh, i'll just copy this any actions we need to will have to mention in the vuex part where otherwise the action will not be available okay and the getters is basically where i am saying that like something like to do store will be state and is a state where i am taking the state dot to do's sorry to do store dot to do's how is the relation coming i am saying to do store is a state it is coming from the state dot to do store to do store is basically what we have mentioned here right and in this to do store we are taking the to do's array which is this okay which means i have binded this to do store to the to do store of uh, to do store dot js okay if there is any confusion what we can do is we'll first of all see what the to do store is coming to uh, i'll just duplicate this okay obviously nothing is going to happen right now oh, something broke uh, quickly check that okay what is it 
uh, unexpected token in to do items i think i forgot in uh, methods is okay i have a comma here yet um, okay this is wrong fine problem solved uh, uh, browser hit refresh and yeah fine uh, we can't use the sync anymore but you can see the store is empty right now okay we will quickly fix this problem first we'll go to our welcome.blade.php and again <laughs> uh, the to do's is not a property anymore okay we will handle it in a different way so actually this will also go away later on but uh, so yeah uh, in the data we don't need uh, to do's we have it from the store okay and yeah where is to do item so in this now we know that we are depending on the store right so we we'll need to somehow call the get to do so in our created we'll do this dot get to do's let it compile okay so we have that the data is coming so the only thing which we are going to change right now is take this to do store and instead of doing to do's we'll do to do store okay so we have that all right um nothing has even changed right now uh, too much the only thing is you know uh, we have removed the created from main.js we are not calling the http we are not making the http call from main.js anymore and neither it is coming from the um, to do items the to do item is just depending on get to dos um, you know to populate the to do store and the uh, it will just display the to do store as it is so now we have a basic you know app like so add new one so it's going to be saved but because you know uh, the add part is not implemented in the store so it's not getting reflected so the next thing which we are going to handle is the add store okay let's come here okay um we'll create an action first let's just do an action come here we'll copy this paste it here okay the name will be save to do remove this okay and come over here we can copy this entirely Oh, I'll need. Um, okay, how do I pass the post data? Okay, post data is something which I'll pass pass to this function. So, in our actions, we have store and we have post data. Okay, uh, so what we were doing in the to do add is something which we are going to do in this action. So we have a save to do function where we are doing a post request to slash to do. We are sending the post data. If it's a two zero one, then we are not going to do these things anymore. Um, we are going to say where dispatch equals new store dispatch and add to dos is this, okay? And yeah, that's about it. Uh, to do actions is ready and i'll need to import that here import save to do from to do actions okay let's clear that um data is fine methods view x okay this view x we will have again getters and actions the action which we are going to use is save to do let's paste it here and 
same as this we'll have to do store okay now add to do let's uh, see we can we will obviously do save to do but i'm just thinking what am i going to pass uh let's see the controller to do api controller in t to do api controller i'm checking whether the title is there or not right and that's what i'm going to pass here so i can do this to do okay and i can get rid of this actually okay and once save to do is done i can do this dot to do equals this okay mm, so far so good hit refresh let's see what's happening um delete it should work only thing the store will not be updated but okay new entry right you can see uh this is how the store is working basically um, no. if i update the code i'll see the to do store now keep a track that to do items is the place where i'm uh, no uh, showing the to do store okay but uh, once we no kind of okay uh, now if we add a new one see the store inside to do items is also showing the correct data because we are actually referencing the same object and you know that's how um, you know the store becomes handy because now any place where you know the to do uh, data is required i'm going to reference the store so yeah that's uh, that's about it on you know uh, using stores and actions um let's just clean up the code a bit we don't need this anymore okay uh because you now we are not passing any property we don't need this so data can come here okay um methods is okay vux is okay um no more http calls i suppose we don't need the watch also and we don't need the data as well that's the only thing ideally it should work so let's see okay we have two entries make a new one it is getting added and if i delete and then hit refresh the thing is gone so in our next Uh, video we will handle the you know delete and also the state change but yeah that's about it so if you see we have streamlined our main.js file considerably you know the, the main.js is not making any http request it is not aware of any data passing to any component okay and in our welcome.blade.php where you know we are uh, listing the components as you can see the component itself is not you know uh getting any data from as properties or anything uh it is relying on the store to get the data objects okay so main dot js uh, is clean our main layout file is very clean uh all the logics are inside our to do store and to do action they are responsible uh you know especially the actions is responsible for fetching data from you know the database or any other api and then dispatch the uh, action and the store will mutate itself okay so yeah uh, that's how we use vuex in our uh, vuejs application if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and share it on facebook twitter and other social networking websites and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel